Deputy Mayor. Thank you, um, John Corley. Taoiseach, yesterday the government accepted uh, that it could no longer stand over cases of people with acute medical conditions and multiple disabilities uh, losing their medical cards. It accepted and has accepted that 15,000 people who lost their discretionary cards in that category should have them restored until at least July 2015. Those people, however, uh, will get no refund, even though the government has accepted that it wrongly took the cards from them and has inflicted considerable costs on them. The Carers Association yesterday estimated uh, that many families, it would have cost them up to €1,200 Euros a month as a result of taking the cards from them. And young Katie Connolly, her condition, 7,000 a year, it would cost her family. And she lost the medical card and it would cause considerable distress to that particular family. They should be refunded, Taoiseach, and I'm asking you, will you put in place a mechanism to facilitate that? I asked you yesterday, Taoiseach, about the other 15,000 who had lost their cards. What is to happen then? They're not getting them back. Over 30,000 lost their medical cards, according to your government statistics. Only 15,000 are getting them back. Some were paralysed with fear and absolute shock and were not in any position to respond to the infamous letters that went out over the last two um, and a half years. Yesterday's decision, Taoiseach, also creates further injustices. There are thousands of people out there who, since 2011, would have applied for medical cards, discretionary medical cards, with similar acute conditions and similar disabilities, but who were governed by the same policy framework that governed the removal uh, of the 30,000. Um, they've been refused, and they're not to get any medical card, despite the fact that you know accept that that same policy framework was wrong, and you're giving cards back to 15,000 who lost as a result of it. Question, please. And anybody with a new diagnosis in the coming weeks or the coming months, Taoiseach, will be governed by the same policy framework that you said was wrong and occasioned your decision to restore Thank it to 15,000. So the question, Taoiseach, is I think you have to accept it's a shambles, it's inconsistent, it's incoherent. And, a, um, and what I want to ask you is will a refund mechanism be put in place, first of all, for the 15,000 who lost their cards and are having them restored? Will the policy framework change for those who applied for cards since 2011 with similar conditions but who never got them because of the application of, 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 of the change policy framework? And what about people, Taoiseach, who are newly diagnosed Thank you. with very severe conditions and with multiple disabilities and who apply for discretionary medical card? What policy framework is going to apply to them? Thank you. Taoiseach. You've asked a range of questions there, Deputy Martin. Uh, the government accepts, and the Minister for Health was quite clear on this, that it is uh, completely unacceptable that uh, families were put through the stress and strain that arose from the decision uh, to centralise the, uh, the assessment of medical cards, which, as I pointed out to you yesterday, under the 1970 Act, are governed by the phrase undue hardship uh, and circumstances that apply thereafter for access to medical facilities, as distinct from the particular kind of card. Now, what the government did yesterday was to make a very clear decision to make €13 million Euro available to deal with the return of cards to people who had lost them since July 2011 on the discretionary basis. As, as you're aware, Deputy Martin, the discretion arises from where a person makes an application for a medical card and it's turned down. Um, and discretion is then applied depending on the range of medical circumstances that apply, the general income of the household and so on. And on that basis, discretion being applied and extended in lots of cases uh, to people. Uh, when that review was then carried out, people lost their cards. So decision of government yesterday was very clear, 13 million cost to return the cards to people who lost them on the review which began when the centralisation issue was uh, started back in 2011. Um, and the HSE, as confirmed this morning by one of their senior personnel, are now working flat out to see that those cards are returned to those 15,000 people. 13,000 and 2,000 who had a GP car given to them uh, inside the next four weeks. Now, when, um, when you raised the point about uh, people who, who applied um, and are, are who were unable to respond because of their particular challenge or difficulty or medical circumstance, of course, uh, the circumstances that apply in those cases where they didn't respond will be taken into account uh, by the HSE because they have to. Uh, obviously, people can be 
stressed and under pressure, or may, for a variety of reasons, not be in a position uh, to respond in the way, uh, in the way that, um, that one might expect uh, normally. For instance, I know of a couple of cases where people were, were asked by the computer to respond uh, who have a motor neuron who were unable to speak and unable to uh, move and therefore to respond to all of these things. So from, uh, from, the, from the point of view, the decision yesterday was very clear. Those who lost cards that were granted on a discretionary basis on the review system are having those cards restored to them. Those who were unable to respond for whatever reason, in those circumstances, Deputy Martin, have to be taken into account. The Minister was clear yesterday about a non-payment of compensation. But when you raise individual cases, clearly in many of Thank those, long-term illness facilities covers the vast, vast majority of the facilities or aids or appliances uh, that people might need, be they child or adult, in those cases. Thank you. You, you, you didn't answer the questions that I asked. The fundamental point being that there's an inconsistency and incoherence at the heart of the decisions you have taken, and particularly yesterday's decision. Because a child with a rare syndrome born today, that's the point, Tisha, a child with a rare syndrome born today will not have, uh, will, will, sorry, will have the existing framework that applied to the 15,000 people that you took cards off and that are now give, you, you're not going to get back to them. The child today born with a rare syndrome won't get the discretionary medical card, irrespective of the rarity of the syndrome. If you'd listen, Taoiseach, Minister Noon is trying to bail you out, but just Sorry, listen. Sorry, would you put your please, question, teacher. please? The point is this, Taoiseach. In 2013, the HSE's service plan, and you signed off on it, and the minister signed off on it, and it suggested there would be policy changes. It said there would be policy changes that would bring medical cards, discretionary medical cards and numbers down to about 50,000. There were 63,000 discretionary medical cards at the beginning of 2013. There was 50,000 at the end of it, teacher. There were policy decisions taken by your government that resulted in, in, this in this happening. But the fundamental point is this. Anybody who applied from 2011 onwards, teacher, with very severe conditions were refused. They didn't have a card Thank you. before 2011. Sorry, over time. How are you going to rectify that injustice yeah. in terms of those people? And in terms of anybody, and you mentioned motor neuron, anybody who, for example, with motor neuron condition from now onwards, or who's diagnosed in the next three or four months, how is that person going to get a discretionary thank medical you. card? Yeah. Or the child with a very rare... Sorry, thank you, David. There is a fundamental teacher, incoherence and inconsistency here, teacher. And you need to deal with that. It's not satisfactory Thank you. in terms of what has been proposed today. And do you accept that there's an inconsistency and incoherence attached to what you've decided? No, I don't accept that from you at all. There is no inconsistency or incoherence in the decision made by the government yesterday. That decision was very clear. The decision was listen, listen, listen. to make available 13 million euro for the return of discretionary cards that were taken away from people on the review system. Now, uh, a person applying for a new card today, the, the, the minister set up the clinical assessment panel to move to a situation where where, where the medical condition of a person can be used to make arrangements for them to have access to medical facilities. Over a thousand submissions have been received already, Deputy Martin, on this. Now, sometimes you avoid things that are of importance. The Minister made it clear yesterday, the Minister made it clear yesterday that in the cases that you mentioned, like the child born today, where there are exceptional circumstances applicable. You are talking about exceptions. There is no inconsistency in, in, in this here. You are talking about exceptional cases. And, and the, the, the right of the director of the... The right of the director of the health service executive to um, have the discretion to allocate cards on, on the... Uh, on the mercy principle uh, applies, as it does for a general, for a, for a doctor to say this uh, this person, child or adult, needs um, needs an emergency card to deal with their particular circumstance. Thank you. So there is no inconsistency or no incoherence. The decision is clear. One, make available 14 million to restore uh, the medical cards that were taken away on the review on the discretionary basis, and the HSE has confirmed this morning.
morning are working flat out to see that all of those people get back their medical cards uh, inside the next four weeks. Thank you. That's neither inconsistent nor, nor incoherent. It is, it is uh, having listened to the, the, the stories of the pressure on so many people uh, that this decision was made. And I admit that obviously these things should not have happened with the uh, pressure that the, and the strain that they put on many families. We're moving to a new system and that's all underway.